got some pork floss, some basil leaves, because a little bit of a chili lime dressing. Okay, and that's the, the watermelon. 米住先，呢个系西瓜，冇错，呢度炸西瓜唔系黑暗料理，而系二零二四加拿大八大最佳餐厅大佬嘅隐藏招牌菜之一。老板兼大厨 Nick 都形容呢个系一道疯狂嘅料理啊。Ah,、uh, so we have the fried watermelon as sort of like a secret menu item. So when I created this dish, the whole concept was creating opposites. So you have like you know crispy and you have soft, you have hot and you have cold, you have cooling, you have spicy. I've had a lot of people that oh I don't like watermelon, and when they try it, it's like oh my god, it doesn't even taste like watermelon. It's like crispy on the outside, and then when I eat it, it's like it's just like it's like water and it's juicy and it's it's a very crazy dish. This is a college and bars 嘅餐厅，主打新派亚洲菜。可能你会话，咁咪即系 fusion。但系 Nick 就觉得，与其话系 fusion， 佢嘅理念系以创新嘅方式呈现亚洲经典菜式。I don't like the word fusion just because you know everything in the world, every cuisine in the world, right, ends up you know some type of fusion. A lot of countries boiled a lot of different ingredients and different flavors, but you wouldn't call that fusion. You would call Italian fusion. Tomatoes aren't native to Italy, right? They're brought over, and pasta can easily be argued that it's noodles. 成日食海南鸡，咁松露海南鸡又有冇试过呢？而且松露唔系沈溪面，而系一大块夹喺鸡皮同鸡肉之间，豪气十足啊 ！So we cook it in the broth in the bag, right?、Uh, at a certain degree where it's like perfect temperature for chicken. The chicken should still be a little bit red. Really important for a Chinese chicken. You don't want to overcook. And you can see that truffle in between the skin, and that's where the the little bit of the French influence comes from. Some more crispy, some fried basil, because、uh, with poached things you want to have things that are fried as well, right? Give it that contrast of flavor. And this is our version, our Dilo version of our high nineties chicken. 要做到创新，就要不断求变。但系灵感可遇不可求。Nick 嘅创意系由边度嚟呢 ？So I travel a lot. Wherever I travel, it's always to eat. I eat about thousand things every single time I travel. I'll latch on to a local and I'll get him to like I'll, I'll take a cab and I start conversation with the cab driver and I'll make friends with the cab driver and I'll ask him to take me to his favorite restaurant. You know, a restaurant that he would take his family for like like for a five year anniversary with his wife. It's really about like getting into a really truly getting into a culture and finding a. You know the people of those cultures and getting the real experiences, right? And making those connections with like family, finding those those threads of connections to relate to Asian food, where I can really kind of like play around with those flavors. Nick 起初系法国菜厨师，之后喺几间英国米芝莲星级餐厅工作，由西餐转战亚洲菜，同佢嘅童年经历有好大关系。Being born in Canada,、um, you know, I was always striving to be more Canadian. Back in the day when I was growing up, there wasn't a lot of like Asian kids in my school, or、uh, so you know, I was always looking to fit in. And when I started cooking,、uh, you know, I started learning French cuisine, and French cuisine was this you know kind of hugely accepted you know style of cuisine, especially in Toronto. As I grew up, and you know, started to. You know, learn more about food and understand food、uh, as a whole, like flavor structures and colors and techniques. You know, I started looking at you know how my grandparents started to cook and you know eating their food and being like, my goodness, like this is this is worthy of any you know Michelin star French restaurant. You know, this style of cuisine. And I think because you know we're Asian and we're Chinese, you know, we have a We have an upbringing and a connection, a special connection to you know these style, these style of flavors and, and and the style of cuisine. You know whether our grand whether we're eating at a restaurant and it's like a flavor that we're like, oh my god, this is something like my grandmother used to cook. I haven't had this in years. It kind of brings you back to a nostalgic place where you know I think as as a restaurant owner, as a chef, is always what you're trying to achieve. You know that little bits of nostalgia. 成日都话童年时嘅味道永远冇办法被超越，呢度客家云吞就系 Nick 回忆入面家乡嘅味道。So、I'm making for you the Hakka Brown wontons.、Um, these are a family recipe, my grandmother's recipe. So pork and shrimp filled.、Uh, they have dried shrimp, fresh shrimp, 
Uh, they have pork and they also have ground chicharron, oyster sauce, and then we have our house-made EXO. Very, very simple. This is exactly the way I would eat them at home. And this is our Hakka brown wontons. 新派菜系并非人人愿意接受，点样融入，点样平衡，都系好大嘅课题。You know what we do is like the same flavors, right? But very far removed from anything that they would recognize. When we did open, I was, I, it was, it was one of my biggest fears. Older Asian、uh, community that would sit and eat, I'd always like peer out and look and see if they were smiling or if they had that, or or if they were angry at the food. So when When you know, like when I captivated the old Chinese, you know, community, and they were like, "Oh, this is really good. This is like not what I expected." You know, it's like it's familiar, but it's like new, right? This could be something that、uh, you know can last a test of time. 大佬喺八月啱啱庆祝完开业十周年，喺呢十年间，大佬培训咗好多年轻厨师，当中有唔少已经独当一面喺多伦多经营自己嘅餐厅。Nick 就系当初启发佢哋嘅人。It's pretty crazy to think,、uh, you know, because I'm, I'm here every day and I just do my job. So, you know, like to 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 hear that other young chefs, you know, kind of look up to me, you know, it it kind of feels very dialo. <laughs>、um, but it's、uh, yeah, it's a very great feeling to be able to be doing this my craft for such a long time and to be recognized in that sort of light、uh, is very special,、uh, and I feel. Like I have such a a big responsibility,、um, you know, to to not let these people down. I think I've changed a lot since、uh, since we've opened the restaurant in ten years. When you're younger, you act more like a dialogue, you know, and then when you're older, you just become more of a dialogue. <laughs>